Hey everybody, it's Rhino and, and Kylie, Kylie back here, and then Craig's over here, and we are here at the Edison so today. Yes, none of us have been here before. This is actually our friend David who's joining us today because Craig's busy being on a cruise and uh, the tough work one has to do. I'm just kidding. He works really hard. We all know that. You know that more than anyone. So we figured uh, we'd come out here and try uh, what's supposed to be like the new hotspot here at Disney Springs, the Edison. Uh, um, I'm pretty excited. Um, I came for like a test meal. It was good, but I haven't seen like the full menu and I haven't had an alcoholic beverage here yet, which you know we're gonna get. You know that's who we are, right? Yeah. Sure. sure. Wow, we brought a big personality here with us today. He doesn't sure. know what to do yet. He doesn't know yet. We also have a special guest with us too. Groot. Baby Groot. He'll be joining us he's for drinks child. too. Yes, he's our baby. We're a family. People are shutting this video off already. Let's go inside, <laughs> sit down, and we're gonna get maybe an app or a, a drink. So let's let's go inside. So Kylie, tell me what you think of this so far. It's pretty neat. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think of the atmosphere? It's pretty neat. <laughs> I agree, I think it's pretty neat inside. It feels like if I wanted to be fancy with somebody, this is where I'd be fancy with them at. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, you know, um, there's a bunch of different bars around the area that look pretty pretty neat, like I'd be okay coming in and sipping a drink. I will say, from first glance at the menu, things look a little pricey. But, I guess it comes with the territory. This is one of those, like, a little bit on the fancier side of things, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I love the throwback to the old films. I'm, I'll be excited to see what our, what, what, what we order and what, what's in store for our taste buds. What about you, David? What do you think? I love it. Uh, the throwback to everything, the way everyone's dressed. They're very dapper, like the little flapper girl that was running around. And the black and white cartoons in the background. You know, it's not just cartoons, right? What? It's actually silent films. What about you, Groot? Okay, so I got the apple propellant, which is actually a mocktail, and it's fresh cider, lemon, honey, and ginger, and ginger ale. Mmm, mm. it sounds good. How much was it? It was $7. Okay, sip it and tell me whether it's worth it. Also, I got ice in mine because more drink, second drink. Second drink. Um, Regular, I almost called you an Ann Perkins, and I meant <laughs> Ann Beasley. That is really good. Is it? It's really good. It's um, really strong on the apple, and then the ginger kind of comes in at the end, which is really nice. I love it. So, uh, I love me a mule, and I saw the electric mule, which uh, has vodka, lemon, strawberry, which I love, uh, lemongrass cordial, and a little ginger beer. It was about 14 bucks, so we'll see if it's worth it. Oh my god, yeah. The ginger really hits you, but you can definitely subtly taste the strawberry, which is really good and refreshing. Can you taste the vodka? Yes. I got the last word. So, uh, Hendrix Gin, Green Chartreuse, Lime, and Maraschino Liqueur, and then she said there's a branded cherry down in downtown in here. So, I'm gonna give this a little sip. It, it, did I say it was $13? It was $13. It's chilled. Mm -hmm. This is pretty good. Uh, the maraschino liqueur is definitely only like a hint in here. It's very gin forward, so this if you like gin, I think you'll enjoy this, which I do, but it might not be for everybody. Got a little nice little lime. I feel like green chartreuse is code for like mint or something like that, because I'm getting a, like, I don't want to say mouthwash, because it doesn't taste like mouthwash. <laughs> but it's delicious, but they also delivered us food, so I'm not gonna hold up these hungry folks any longer. Okay, so we got two appetizers. We got the deviled eggs, which the description is crisp potatoes, um, for $12. And then we got the electric fries, which are Il Burbank hand cut potatoes, Edison special sauce, bacon, crumbled blue cheese, chopped green onions. We got the blue cheese on the side because I do not like blue cheese, but we saw somebody else get these fries and they looked delicious. So I wasn't gonna let my distaste of blue cheese stop me. Um, the fries are this massive portion, which I'm just gonna reach my filthy, dirty hand in here and eat some really quick. Well, everybody else watches. Okay, those are freaking delicious. I'm gonna go nuts. Yeah, your husband. Make your husband proud. No, I'll never make him proud. <laughs> That would require me talking with my mouth full. I'm not doing it. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, those look good. Sorry, I didn't mean to be creepy while you're eating. Mm -hmm. These are so good. Ugh. Right? Like, I don't know what that sauce is. The fries are delicious. Highly recommend. It's crispy. Very crispy. And then the crisp potatoes. There's so many crispy things. So I'm guessing the flavor profile is really good. Yeah. And the textures, they go well. Yeah, I'll have I don't know, you tell us. You get, a, you get in there. Uh, uh. Thank you. Those fries and that sauce. I don't know what that sauce is, but it's quite delicious. You like blue cheese. You can put some blue cheese on your side. Yuck. Okay. Or like on your plate. Get, a little get, it, get it going. That's a lot of, that's very blue cheese. Oh, gross. Oh, wow, that really is. Yuck. You guys have to do it with the blue cheese. The smokiness is so good with the sauce. It's like a sweet, smoky flavor. It's really good. I love your suggestion, but I will not. <laughs> <laughs> now, Gru, what did you think about the deviled egg? So am I allowed to eat the deviled egg now? You can have the deviled egg now, David. We will allow it. Groot has taken a bite. This is really good. And the crunchy, like, are these potato shoots? I don't know what this is, but potatoes. it's a really good combination together. Something I never even thought of. I know. I might have to steal this idea for my next uh, soiree. You don't have friends. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes, this is a good deviled egg. Like, I'm not as eloquent as Craig describing deviled eggs. We all know he's a deviled egg connoisseur. But you guys are right. The potato, they're like those little potato sticks that used to come in the can. Yeah. Um, those are like game changer for me. But this egg yolk is very soft and delicate too. You know how sometimes it gets a little too thick and a little too It'll stick to your teeth stiff. almost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like just the right amount of creamy. I think um, they whipped it real good. Yeah. <laughs> real, I feel like there should be a music cue right there. <laughs> uh, but this is like, these are good. These are really good. And it came on a piece of prosciutto that we're all going to fight each other to the death for afterwards. I thought we were just going to share it equally. Mm -hmm. To the death. Such a lush. I agree. The people here noticed we were filming a video and very kindly brought us over this dessert, which was is the lollipop tree, which is a DB patented uh, cheesecake pops. It's like patented, comma, cheesecake pops, bubblegum whipped cream. Oh, we're going to save that for Kylie because there's nuts on here. Although, even though these things with nuts on them were hovering over the whipped cream, I don't know if she's feeling extra, extra dangerous today, but I'd rather not kill her while her husband's out of town. So David, take your fancy. You pick one and I'll pick a different flavor. All right. I was told there's, that one might be strawberry and, pota and sp sp pistachios. Pistachios, not pistachios. potatoes. Strawberry potatoes. I'm gonna take this guy. It looks like, I thought this was Reese's peanut butter cups. Or Reese's pieces. I gotta say, super smooth and creamy. The flavors on that is really good. The strawberry. And the the cheesecake's good. Yeah, the cheesecake's really good. The pistachios, though, add that extra. Our pop. Okay. Oh, yeah. Try it. Pick a new one. All right. I'm going to try this one that I think was is chocolate and toffee. The peanut, um, if that is peanut butter, it's not overly strong. But this, this cheesecake's, like, super rich. Like you said, rich and creamy and... All words I hate. This is like a dark chocolate mm. rice krispies almost. So, so far, like you have to try this toffee one next because so far that one's my favorite. Which one was that one? Okay, it's like a, I think it's like a flower. Like I'm sniffing it. Like, mm. 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 which one were you saying was? Oh, that one. This one. Oh, that one real good. Right. See, I thought they were gonna be like super. Chocolatey, super strawberry, super whatever, and it's more like subtle. Yeah, which I like that. And as far as the shareable dessert goes, so this is eighteen dollars. You're getting ten of these pops on it. Um, I feel like this is a pretty good of all the job. things. Like this is a great idea for a shareable dessert. I mean, you know, everyone always does shareable apps, but I got that sweet tooth. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish all this. Uh, so I've learned several things since we last spoke. Um, one, Groot likes all food. Two, 
Our server's name was not Chancy. <laughs> it was Janice. I missed an eye, and she was wonderful. And um, our bartender came over again, Graham, and offered to make us uh, some of the signature cocktails to try. So we're gonna go up and do that right now. Is it? Yes. That's really good. It's really light, so very refreshing. Very dangerous because you could have a lot of them. This is really refreshing. This is one of those ones like you kind of just take and you're just like, mm. and the perfume violet is not overpowering because I've had drinks where they've had like some kind of floral aspect of it and it tastes like you're eating potpourri. But this is actually really nice. It's just very subtle, but it's right there. <laughs> this is, this smells amazing. Oh, wow. This did not taste anything like I kind of expected. I definitely, um, Graham described it as like sitting in Paris and the girl in the red dress goes by and this was what it, that reminds you of. And like, I would say that nails what this tastes like. like the taste is like indescribable. Yeah, it's it's hard to really put it into words. It, it, you guys kind of hit it on the head where you were like, I've had floral drinks before too, and this isn't that same type of floral. Like rose water, or rose petals, that's in a lot of stuff, and it doesn't have that. It, it's more full bodied than that, but not in a way where you're like, ugh, potpourri. It's like, it's very unique. Definitely one of the more unique things I've had, for sure, drink wise. It's a quarter ounce of simple cordial or simple syrup. You have your two ounces of cognac, four dashes, eh, a little more, of Peychaud's bitters. Oh my god, holy smokes, that is, the, that is way better than the other Sazeracs I've ever had. And I love that drink. This is... Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's like burning my throat. <laughs> Are you okay? Very, very spicy. Alright, I love spicy, so we'll see how this goes. It hits you. Just wait. <laughs> Did you say this was smoked salt? We smoke sea salt, and it's got the mezcal to get the beverage. The spiciness coming from this drink. It's amazing, and that smokiness from the salt enhances that flavor so well. <laughs> it's so spicy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is amazing. It's I'm so spicy. sorry. <laughs> like we're the two polar opposites. <laughs> I am sorry. Get her some milk and bread. I feel that burn in my throat, like, whoop. <laughs> I think Craig is going to love this margarita. It is so smooth. And David's right about that smoky rim, like, pairing with the um, the drink, like, perfectly. This is a delicious margarita. It sure is spicy, though. But it's like what Kylie was saying. It's spicy on my throat, not on, like, my lips or tongue or anything like that. So it's, it's, it's not the same type of spicy as, like, a jalapeno. Um, so that's really interesting. So we went into the experience just thinking we're gonna have apps and uh, one, uh, drink. one drink each. And then, like I said earlier in the video, our, our the guy who made our drinks, Graham, came over and he offered to let us taste some of the signature drinks, which I thought was incredibly nice of him. Um, so this kind of became like a whole new type of experience that 
I don't know that you're necessarily gonna get every time you get here, but if you do come back here, you need to go see Graham, the bartender, because he, he told the most incredible stories. He gave you like a backstory yeah, to each drink. The history drink. for he everything. The history for all the drinks. A yes. little backstory for everything that made everything like special. It was it different. Really did. Like, yeah. I, I not to be rude to Janice, our server, or anything like she that. She was great. Um, I Chancy, would never say but that. our, I, I, I actually like, kind of like, man, we should have just sat at the bar the whole time. It was kind of like that whole like, you're sitting around the campfire and you're hearing stories. And I, he clearly was very passionate about just the actual like art of mixology, making drinks and that sort of stuff. And um, it so went above and beyond. Like, it really elevated the experience. Like, it, it really did. And I. This isn't like a full review, obviously, because we try to make sure that we pay for everything and talk about it in that sense. But I am gonna tell you, free or not, the the drinks that he made us at the bar, the Sazerac, the Aviation, um, the uh, one you had, the spicy, spicy margarita. The spicy margarita, if you like spicy. Yeah, what was that huge... called? The lightning rod margarita. It was, too um, spicy. it was too spicy for her, he liked it. I thought it was incredibly smooth margarita. Very spicy though on the throat and stuff. I think Craig's gonna enjoy that one. Craig will be so excited. Honestly, any one of the three drinks that we got, I would have happily paid for. If he had given us a check at the end, I would have definitely paid for those. And I mean, we did pay for the ones we had um, at, at lunch too, which were also great. So that was, we've, we've sampled a total, because we all drank them, a total of three, four, five, six, six drinks. drinks, six alcoholic drinks between the three of us over, over a course of about four hours we've been in here. So it's not like we just down them like lushes that we are. Well. Maybe Kylie, but uh, <laughs> but you know. I feel disrespected. I I feel like this spot is really something different for it Disney is. Springs. You know. It's like really cool. Even if you're local, it's something to do. Yeah. Like just the ambiance of it is really awesome. So. I, I find I get a lot of people from out of town who come in and they want to go to the hangar bar, which is fine because I get it. It's a gimmick. It's like it's the Indiana Jones thing, and and I that's fine, but. You know, you get tired of the same old, same old. This is like a really, a respect to those old fashioned type cocktails, but almost like the real, real old fashioned type. Like they're, they're back in their heyday since it's all kind of themed around that era at that time of like pre-prohibition, I guess. I can't remember what year prohibition took place in and Edison and all that stuff. You know, that those those couple twenty ish. Those decades, you know. Um, Fun time. Yeah, but overall so now we've we've sat we were at the bar for we were with Graham for a, like an hour and a half, but um how do you, how's the food sitting with you guys? What did you think of that? For an appetizer it was really filling. Um, it was interesting that just the deviled eggs, which you only get four of, um, was twelve dollars and then you got a huge plate of yeah. French fries with like toppings, bacon disgusting blue cheese sorry if you not like always it. disgusting blue cheese i highly recommend you guys have to try a little bit of it with the fries it enhances it it enhances it try it please i will say yeah the portion the portion wise i feel like maybe you're getting a little bit more the fries are probably if you're with a group like where there's three of us a little better bang for the buck you know but Every, everything tasted delicious. yeah they oh, tasted they wonderful so yeah and really, the dessert really Oh yeah, and the oh dessert they brought us, which they comped to us too, so I can't really I talk about it. She literally was gonna good. die if she yeah. tried so. <laughs> but Nuts, I can't get any of these. It was delicious. But uh, that was another good thing. A lot of I, I really like the idea of a lot of shareable, unique shareables here, I yeah. feel like. I would say that. That so far it, it is, I feel like, for what would the stuff that we did pay for, maybe like a smidge on the pricier side, but honestly you're really getting that quality. You really and, are. Like servers were amazing so yeah, it's like so polite. kind of like a an experience thing versus just uh, going down to Disney Springs to get some food. yeah the quick yeah. quick in and out sort of a thing I feel like you, you really do need to want to like take your time um, so we are obviously gonna come back here when Craig gets back in town and when everybody else um, I'm, I'm sure Pete's gonna want to check this out too and the rest of the team um, will have to come for like a dinner because you know this place gets transformed at night they have he was saying they have some Silk. Cirque performers that come down that do silks um, live jazz and live uh, yeah there's a burlesque show with bow my uh, apparently the place is just covered in feathers when it closes at night is what <laughs> is what Graham was telling us like the cracker like the cracker the cracker you can't get a s'mores without Graham I don't know what that means but but, um, um, but anyway I, my rec I, I would come back here for sure yeah. uh, you I guys would, yeah 100%. Yeah, I definitely would. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give us, you know, like, subscribe, share it with a friend. Sharing is caring. It is. And uh, I guess until next time, thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye. Bye.
we hit, that was good harmony. Ah.